Hello, my friends. Coming to you today from the Atlantic Cemetery. You might not be able to recognize it immediately. I'm filming this on a kind of cloudy, foggy day. It kind of feels almost like the play Our Town. But I walk through the cemetery so I can remember those of old, those whom we have loved and have passed on to God's greater glory. And so it's a sobering time, but it's also an encouraging time because I'm standing here in the northwest corner of the cemetery. It's what is known as Potter's Field. When the cemetery was first established back in the mid-1800s, there was a section of the cemetery designated for those who had no family or perhaps no money, and so they could be buried here. There's not very many markers up here at all because there was no one to remember them except for one. There is a marker here. I'll, I'll put it down so you can see it for James Miller. James Miller died in 1881. He was a black man, worked for some of the farmers here in Colts Neck. And though he might not have had money to afford a burial plot, obviously there were those who thought well enough of him that they decided to put in a marker. We don't know the names of the farmers, but we do know the name James Miller. We don't know anything about his biography, except for he must have been such a good person that others chose to remember him and mark his burial spot. May we live in such a way so that despite pandemic, despite difficulties, because no doubt James Miller had those in his day, we too will remember, be remembered as those who are good and gracious. But also I give thanks for the farmers, nameless men, women, who gave so that James Miller could be remembered. Sometimes we depend an awful lot on the kindness of others. And so let us be that kind of person who blesses others with what we do and what we say. So I'm encouraged, even as I stand here in a cemetery, because death is not the end. Pandemic will not have the last word. Christ is alive and death has been defeated. And so we go forth living in victory, grateful for the ministry of others. I'm grateful for you. May God continue to bless you. Also, just a side note, grateful for the work of Tom Russell. Tom Russell has been superintendent of this Atlantic Cemetery since 1976. Thanks, Tom. Great work. And may God bless us all, now and always, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.